The Trade Ladder widget is the fastest way to place a trade in TD Active Trader. It's part of the Trade Workspace by default, but you can add it to any workspace. The Trade Ladder widget combines Level 2 quotes with Order and Position Management, letting you place a trade with a single click. In this video, we show you how to use and customize it. To start using the Trade Ladder, enter a symbol at the top of the widget. All quotes and actions performed on the ladder will be for that symbol only. Unless there's an error or warning message you should be aware of, the Auto Send toggle at the top right of the widget lets you bypass the confirmation screen and send all orders through directly. So be mindful of where you click if this is set to ON. Expand Order Parameters to customize the orders you want to place. In this section, you can use the drop-down menu under Order Template to go from a single order to an advanced one. Click Add on the right-hand side to add activation rules to your order. The ladder itself contains a lot of information, but it's organized in sections going left to right. The first section shows volume by price, which is how many shares traded that day at each different price. The next section shows your profit or loss for your open position at each trade price. The third section displays the bid size at each trade price. The fourth shows the trade price. Note that the last trade price will be in bold font. The fifth section displays the ask size at each trade price. And in the last section, you'll see any open orders you have. To place a market buy or sell order, use the buttons at the top of the ladder. You can also place orders in the trade ladder itself. Click anywhere in the green section on the left to place a buy order and anywhere in the red section on the right to place a sell order. To configure the type of buy and sell orders you place, go to the order type menu just above the trade ladder. Select limit or stop market to place an order of that type, no matter where you click in the ladder. Choose auto L slash SM to enable placing both limit and stop market orders. With this selection active, the trade ladder uses normal order mechanics to determine whether a limit or stop market order is appropriate to use. For example, buy limit orders are typically placed below the current market price, and buy stop market orders are typically placed above the current market price. The opposite is true of sell orders. At the top right of the ladder, you'll find two additional buttons. Click Cancel then select Cancel All to cancel all orders. Click Flatten to zero out an existing position with a market order. Lastly, click the arrows icon in the bottom right to center the trade ladder on the last trade price. 